YouTube and beyond <laughs> and the vinyl community howdy doody how the devil are you we've just um, been listening to one of my favorite um, pop songs the B-52s in Rome um, and it's connected with this um, Fred response I'm uh, doing um, vinyl Dale and his um, 12 12 inch singles from the 80s although um, this one just misses out because it's 1990 Rome the B-52s absolutely love the B-52s and this one has a pair of 3D glasses with it because the front sleeve is actually 3D and um, Rome taken from the album Cosmic Thing Everybody, everybody should make a little room in their hearts for the B-52s. Love them. Love them to death. Um, yeah, so uh, 12 times 12 inch singles from the 80s. Um, let's get started. 1980. Toya, my favourite female artist. Absolutely love her to death. And... Song is called Aia. Okay, so that's 1980. Toya, another sort of a punky sort of a queen <laughs> or princess, whatever. 1981 on the Albion Records label. And uh, that's Hazel O'Connor, D-Days. Don't mind a bit of Hazel O'Connor, great singer. Um, starred in that um, Brit film, um, Breaking Glass with uh, Phil Daniels, cracking film. If you ever get a chance to see Breaking Glass, I suggest you watch it, absolutely fantastic. Um, I keep looking at I've got labels on the back of the sleeves that tell me the year they were released and the country this pressing's from and um, the record label so this is 1982 on the Beggar's Banquet label Gary Newman music for, for uh, chameleons extended version absolutely love Gary Newman big big fan of his as is uh, Mike BC policeman down there in, in uh, Portsmouth. So yeah, 1982, Gary Newman, Music for Chameleons, fantastic song, fantastic song. Let's uh, move on now. Again, 1982, Jam, Beat Surrender. There's the re rear sleeve. A few tracks on here. Move on up. Stoned out my mind, shopping, beat surrender, and war. And that is, of course, on the Polydor label. That's the uh, the label you associate the jam with. Moving on, we've already had uh, mention of the B52s are playing on the stereo at the minute. The B52s, Future Generation, and on side two, one of my favourite tracks by them. Planet Claire. Um, this is actually going to be part of a recent um, car boot finds video. So, um, yeah, I've not even showed this one yet. So, uh, first time seeing that in the VC. B52's Future Generation. I've not even I've not got it lab labelled up yet, so I couldn't tell you what year it is. Moving on, 1983, Nana. This is a British release, although um, it has got the German um, song, well, the German language version of the song on the B side. You've got a British version on the A side. I much prefer the German one. And that was um, released on the Epic label. 
So yeah, Nainer, 99 Luft Balloons. <laughs> um, there's also another record on it. Ich blieb in bet. My German is absolutely crap. I can name you German football teams, but I can't speak sort of normal German language. Yeah, much prefer the German, the German version of the song. Brilliant. Great one. Another favourite of mine. Great rocking tune. From uh, 1985, The Cult. She Sells Sanctuary. Brilliant um, driving tune. Oh, fantastic. Um, that's on the uh, Beggar's Banquet label. This is a slightly extended um, version. Great band, The Cult. I saw them um, at the Milton Keynes Bowl back in the 90s. And um, they were supporting Guns N' Roses. Because um, Matt Sorum, who was then the Guns N' Roses drummer on this tour, he joined the band. Um, he used to play in with The Cult. So, um, yeah, they asked the cult to support them. Absolutely fantastic. I said, I remember saying to my mate Austin, um, we, well, we were in the crowd waiting for the bands to come on. Uh, oh, God, I, oh, I really hope they play She Sells Sanctuary. Love that one. Oh, they don't play it anymore. They don't, you won't hear it. They don't play it anymore. Um, what did they come out on stage to? She Sells Sanctuary. Brilliant. Let's move on. 1986, Half Man, Half Biscuit, one of these indie pop type bands. And um, Dickie Davis Eyes. I hate that. I hate that picture on the back. Those eyes don't have to give me the creeps. <laughs> Yep, Dickie Davis was a ITV sports sports um, Saturday sports program type presenter here in Britain back in the day. Dear old Dickie Davis, world of sport on a Saturday afternoon. <sighs> Moving on. Nineteen eighty six on the Mercury label, because of you, um, the theme tune to the. Uh, comedy um, type program. I think it used to be on on a Sunday evening here in Britain. Uh, brush strokes. BBC program. Texas Midnight Runners featuring Kevin Rowland. Be because of you these things I do. It's actually not a bad song actually. So yeah. Go, go check it out on YouTube. Well, I'll put links to, to all these, or well, some of these anyway, in the description. You can go and check them out. Um, three more left. 1987, A&M Records. Luca, Suzanne Vega. Absolutely love a bit of Suzanne Vega. Um, not a lot there on the back to see. Song lyrics. Down the side there, quite strange really. Normally you see them on the back or on an inside sleeve. But yeah, love a bit of Suzanne Vega. Luca, cracking tune. Number 11, another great rocking tune. From 1987, on the Merciful release label. The Sisters of Mercy, This Corrosion. This is an extended version. Absolutely brilliant. I have this on my um, iPod thing. I love listening to this one. Especially when I'm driving along. Sisters to Mercy. I believe, I can't remember her name, but wasn't she in the, um, the Gun Club? Band called the Gun Club. Could be wrong. I could be right. Could be black or could be white. <laughs> Um, yeah, Sisters of Mercy, this corrosion, fantastic, fantastic tune, great rocking tune. 
Um, finally, great soul pop tune, Forgotten Town, the Christians, cracking, cracking soul sort of pop band they were. This is 1987 on the Island label. Um, I think there's two, I think that chap. And well, I can't remember either one of the others or two of the others. I think they were related. I think two of them were brothers. Um, I think they had musical differences, and I think the band sort of faded into oblivion. They had a, their their first album, their debut album, was a cracker, self-titled, "Forgotten Town," um, when the fingers point. Um, I think there's a song called Hooverville. Fantastic soul sort of pop band. I think they're still. I think they're back together. They got back together recently. Um, not heard a lot about them though for for a while. But I, I don't know if they split up again or if they're same band members or, or what. But um, yeah, the Christians, fantastic band. So bless you for taking time out during your busy day to. Uh, tune in and watch go on over to um vinyl dale channel and um look like subscribe why not have a go yourself if you can bless you again cheerio